Welcome back, guys. I'm Mellow7. This is RimWorld Beta 18. Wow. Beta 18 and Football Manager 2018 mixed together in my head really badly. All right. So last episode, we used my Canon EOS T1i or whatever it is. Today, we are going to try to use our the Fujifilm X1 X Pro 1. Um, slightly different lens on it. Uh, this has a 35 millimeter lens on it. We also had an 18. Uh, I could use for it, which is a wide angle lens. We were using um, a zoom lens yesterday on the Canon, which we had zoomed back to 18 millimeter, which is a wide angle. So it lets us see wider across, but it distorts your face a little bit. It does some other things. 35 millimeter, I think is gonna be perfect. It should get us in fairly tight, um, but still where the camera sits, give us enough view to left and right. We, we shouldn't have too many problems. So let us give it a try. So we are back uh, last time. We had uh, apparently eaten all our food. Oh, no, I've let it run a couple seconds. You can see we've almost finished the floors in here. Um, I'm going to do this one really fast. I'm to move the screen there. Um, more floors. Is this the one we're doing? Sure. Uh, hopefully it's the right one. Uh, anyway, um, the last of our meat rotted. 15 meat, whatever. I don't apparently it rotted in less than a day because that's all we've had it, which seems a little odd. It is, I thought, covered, but maybe it's not. Let's check our roofs, uh, floors, zones, uh, roof area. It should be roofed. I mean, I don't know why we ran into problems with it. Seems odd. Um, is the rest of this not roofed? Let's make sure we're all indoors here. But that shows indoors, that shows indoors. So um, I don't really know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda do something like that too. Um, and then over here, let's make sure we got, yep, roof looks fine over here. Something like that. That looks good. Um, anyway, so I have no idea why our food rotted so fast. It shouldn't have as far as I can tell, but um, it did. And that's really all that matters in the end run. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take everybody uh, except for, I think, Zion. Uh, let me check here. Zion is the brawler, right? Yeah. So, and we'll draft them. And we're gonna go do a little bit of hunting again because uh, we have to. That's, that's really what it comes down to. Um, let's see, we've got Deer and Llama down here. We've got Gazelle up here. Let's go after the Gazelle this time. Get ourselves a couple Gazelle. Might want to take that building apart. No reason for us to go slow quite yet. Oh my gosh! Run away, run away! Are we gonna lose everybody once again? Okay. Mad animals are officially insanely overpowered. Insanely overpowered. I mean, this is just nuts. This is twice now that one shot has sent every- No, 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 you're not going out there. You idiot. Run, run, run. Let's see what happens with the raid. Get in there, Zion. We're dead. We're all dead again. <sighs> this is just stupid, guys. Apparently, you're not allowed to hunt herbivores anymore. So as far as I can tell. Um, I haven't seen any patches on this, but clearly something has changed um, because this is just stupid. And I don't have any mods to make the animals go nuts. There's nothing crazy like that. Um, what happened to the raid? Did they run away because we're all down? Oh, it's just Taz up there taking his time. So once again, um, 
I'm just going to load. We're just going to save Scummit because this is just stupid. Uh, that's that's the moral of the story. This is just asinine. There's absolutely no reason for this. Um, we're not playing on the most difficult. We're on rough, right? Uh, but for every herbivore pack to go crazy nuts every single time we shoot one of them, this is a little bit much. Um, just about makes hunting undoable. Because not only you send one guy out to hunt, but if if you're going to get attacked by 30 guys, well, 12 or 13 guys, every time you do it, uh, it's not going to be doable. I mean, it's not doable with your entire tribe if that's what's going to happen every time. So we're going to try it again. And I don't know. I don't know. Rage quits on the table. Okay, let's just leave it at that. Uh, we're going to try to do this one more time. See what happens. Get everybody here together. Come on, Ryder, today. And apparently we didn't injure whichever one it was. There's our raid. Looks like maybe this one was when we shot before. Okay. You know what? That's good enough. Good enough. We're going to take the two we have. Go back to doing what we're doing. You are going to haul it. Uh, he is attacking immediately. More or less. Uh, where is he attacking? Oh, he came from a different location this time. Okay, well, we're going to grab these three guys. Well, yeah. I'm gonna get this deer in the door. Let's try this again. Now, look. I said to I said to range attack, right? We all clearly saw that I guess it's just attack, it's not range attack, is it? Okay, well that's that's stupid. Wait, what? What exploded? Okay, I'm confused. Let's check the combat. Cat was clouded. I don't know. All right, so let's take a look at this guy, see if he's somebody we want or if, if we're just going to use him for food, because that's also a possibility. Good melee, good with animals, incapable of none. He is lazy, but he's an optimist. I think probably we want this guy, right? I mean, I'm not crazy here, right? He can cook. He's artistic. We could use another cook. Um, the question is, where do we put him? Um... Mm, that's that's the issue right now. Well, if if we start by just making this for prisoners, let's confirm that. Zion can go ahead and capture this guy. Oh, we got a bandit's hammer. Okay. Why is... Oh, because he's moving to his bed. Is he going to live long enough with... 
Five o'clock, okay. Got away with it. It's because we kicked him out of here. So I think what we need is, we're gonna need a place maybe right next to Crooked Mo here where we can put captives. So let's go structure wall here. Just like this. And ooh, I'm going to reinstall this somewhere else. Maybe right here. There we go. And I'm gonna put a door in right there. And right there, I guess. Now we can't build beds yet, so we're just gonna have to, uh, for the moment, we're just gonna have to give them a sleeping spot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some chop woods orders here. Get some of that done. Let's see, we'll get some food done, we'll get some wood chopped, we'll get some things built. Cat, all right. Social, prisoner, chat and, re chat and recruit. Difficulty is 88%. Now, I think ultimately, Mesmerize. Hey, we got our abilities back here. Vampiric healing. He doesn't have any benefits yet, does he? So let's go character. Let's let's verify that we don't. We almost have another point. And then at some point, not melee. Hmm. I guess none of these is really going to help him with uh, turning somebody, is it? Let's go back to the normal abilities. Oh, wait, what was this? Sunlight policy. Will not go outdoors during daylight hours unless drafted and forced to do so. Okay, well, we want this. For now. Clearly it doesn't work, because he got up and walked outside while undrafted. But let's at least pretend it works and run with it. Okay. Oh, and then let's check to see about our negotiating. Uh, six, three, four. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on for Weirdo here. He is already going to warden as well. Um, and then we'll have a couple of different people that can do that. And people are going to end up cooking, sleeping outside. Um, is what it is. Let's get some meals made, though. I, I could have could have sworn that all these were supposed to just. Oh, that one does not. There we go. And there went all our meat. We had we had a meal cooked, but we didn't eat it. We went in here and ate the rest of the raw meat. So there's no more raw meat. Uh, we've got we've got this here. Uh, and again, it's going to spoil in a day. We do have some hay. Uh, in the morning, I have somebody make some uh, adobe bricks, so we're going to make the attempt anyway. See how that happens. I hope the camera's working at this point. So in theory, this camera is going to get us 29 minutes. So we're going to try to aim for 25 minute episodes. I think that will be fine. That way, if I go over a couple minutes, it's OK. Fingers crossed. Kind of wish we'd finish the walls first, but. But we'll get stuff done. Uh, and somebody ate the rest of our meat. What's CJ working on? Researching. Oh, wait. Who do we want to work? Who can craft? Julian. What are you doing right now? 
Building a roof? Eh, that's not a bad thing, actually. Okay. I'm gonna let you finish that. And then I want you to come down here. First of all, I'm gonna move these bricks up. Oh, that's not what I want. I wanna go priority? Fine, I'm just gonna suspend these. Then I'm gonna have Julian come down here, prioritize crafting spot. And let's see if we can make some of these to put meat in. And then we're gonna have to go hunting again. No, you know what, we're gonna tame the bunny rabbits. So I don't know, let's see, that gets us some adobe bricks. Now, can we make these? Need storage pot. How do we make a storage pot? Ah, here we go. Five adobe bricks. Okay, so let's go. Now, Julian, I know you were off to do something else, but I'm going to move you back over here. And we'll see if this hopefully cuts down on some of our food waste. It's probably not, but let's find out. We have a party. I'd like to really argue that, but it's probably not a bad idea. Oh, wait, do we have this sleeping spot here? This sleeping spot is now going to become for prisoners. CJ, could you know who's wardening? Yeah, it is warden him. I'm going to turn these off. Confirm. And then, there we go. All right, we get a couple people in there on the party, but I think these are more important than anything else. Oh, who's having the mental break risk? Julian, go to the party. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I don't know how much that helped or not. And of course we're having the party while Crooked tries to sleep because of course this is where a table is. Table here too, but you know, nobody wants that spot. So, one thing we're going to do is we are going to mine out that ore. We are going to put down a floor. Uh, and again, we'll, we'll make it a decent little floor there. And we'll put in a light furniture. We'll go ahead and give ourselves a, a wall sconce in here. There we go. And uh, maybe a little table. And a chair. There we go. And uh, we need to go hunting pretty much now. Because uh, we've got no food. So we're going to take everybody except for Zion, draft, and we're going to come here and try to kill a Brontosaurus. We're probably all going to die here because we can't kill Antelope without dying. Um, I'm going to attempt to uh, tame that as well. Now let's just go to here. <sighs> Don't we have ability? What happens to our abilities? Why can't we use the abilities? Oh, because he's down, first of all. That would that would make sense. All right. Did we even damage these a little bit? Mm. Yes, we did. So let's see if we can get this one. Uh, let's cancel that for now. Let's just let's just worry about this one. We're gonna let him get a little bit farther away. 
Or not. Um, crooked. Let's try that again. Where are you going? <sighs> okay. And he's down again. Neely attack. Come on, finish him off. Doesn't say anything here about them attacking faster or quicker. Just everything we attack instantly um, goes after us. Now, one of these is going to die eventually. I'm really frustrated, guys. I mean, like I say, we're not running this at a super high level. We're, we're actually running a low level specifically so we can see this stuff. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Just rescue somebody. There you go. Oh, there's our door. Um, I'm going to throw this episode away. We're just going to keep doing this till we can survive. But this is just asinine. There's no reason for every time we shoot an herbivore, for everything to go nuts and go after revenge. Oh wait, a brontosaur, I'm, I'm a little more willing to accept that. But it's not that this is different, right? We saw it the first time we tried to go after antelope. We saw it the first time we tried to go after deer. Every single species we've gone after, except for bunny rabbits, has attacked us as a pack of mad animals and killed everybody, right? I mean, that, that's, that's what's going on here. Sorry, Dan, can you walk? Rescue. No, I think we might make it. We're gonna, we're gonna run with this here. Come on, Crooked, get inside. There you go. Somehow we successfully did this. Now this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to change this storage. We're gonna, we're gonna clear all and we're gonna put raw food. Uh, just meat in there. Uh, animal products? No, I don't care about animal products either, just meat. Uh, and we're gonna copy that setting and we're gonna do the, we're going to Paste it here, and I think actually I'm gonna make, it's already important, that's fine. That's what we're gonna do. And I have no idea what's going on there. I just assume because it's a, because it's a brontosaur, there's a lot of meat. That's what I assume is going on there.
or CJ. All right, so we're at 25 minutes. In theory, we have a lot of meat. We'll see what happens. We're not dead yet. Uh, not dead yet. Yes, you are. Hollow tree. That, um, that looks dangerous to me. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that. Uh, anyway, so in theory, we've got some meat there. If we can, we can get healed back up again. Fingers crossed. Maybe we'll be okay. Uh, hunting brontosaurus should be dangerous. It just annoys me that apparently every single thing we hunt is dangerous. Um, and I'm going to make sure we, we get that hauled as well quickly. Uh, we must have shot one more over there. And I assume this meat... Oh, there's a fox over there. Uh, I'm going to let him go for now. Not the fox, but we'll just let that sit there. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for this episode. Uh, we're still alive. I don't know that we're going to stay that way. Let's check health. Um, nothing. Nothing missing. He lost an index finger. He lost a nose. He's fine. And he's just hungry. So... Fingers crossed, I think we'll be okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one, even if I'm getting frustrated with it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Love to hear your comments. Are you guys running into the same problems with uh, the pack and with the herd animals going nuts the first time you try something? Because because clearly it we're hit we're we're batting three for three right now. A pattern has developed. Uh, anyway, I'd love to know. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more, and we will see you next time. Cheers.